Hi everyone, Dennis here and in this video I'm going to explain the concept of a differential equation. What is a differential equation? How do differential equations come about? And what does it even mean to find a solution to a differential equation? Alright, so first things first. An equation in mathematics is a statement with an equality sign between two expressions, one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. And what an equation means is that the two expressions are equal as opposed to inequalities where one expression can be greater than or less than the other. So for example, this is an equation, but this is not an equation, it's just an expression because it doesn't have an equal sign. Now if you're watching this video, there is a high chance that you've worked with other types of equations before. So let's look at differential equations, what they are and how they differ from these other types of equations that you might have seen before. If you look up the definition of a differential equation on the internet, you might find something like this. An equation involving an unknown function and one or more of its derivatives. So there are two very specific features for any differential equation. One, it involves some unknown, and in this case the unknown is a function, not just a value. And it also involves one or more derivatives of this unknown function with respect to some independent variable. By the way, the derivatives can be ordinary derivatives or partial derivatives, which leads to two different types of differential equations. The ordinary differential equations, or ODEs, and the partial differential equations, which we also call PDEs. So for this video, I'll only use examples which involve ODEs or the ordinary differential equations, but the concepts should be able to work for both ODEs and PDEs. Differential equations usually arise from nature and real life problems that involve rates of change, for example, growth and decay. So let me illustrate this with a simple but hopefully intuitive idea. The rate at which a disease spreads through a population is directly proportional to the number of organisms that are already infected. And this kind of makes sense because, think about it, if you have a population that is infected, then the more organisms that are infected, the faster they will spread the disease, so it will spread even faster. Now if we let y to be the number of organisms that are infected within this population, then we can represent this entire situation as a differential equation like this, where k is a constant of proportionality. And there we have it, we just created a differential equation to model the behavior with which a disease spreads through a population. Now of course this model is not perfect, it's not even close to being perfect, because in the real world more variables come into play. For example, not all organisms in the population are susceptible to this infection or disease because of different levels of immunity and not all diseases spread in the same way. Of course, there are mathematicians and scientists who spend all their time trying to study real-world situations and creating mathematical models that can represent those situations. And many of these models you will find involve differential equations. So the last thing I want to talk about in this video is what does it mean to have a solution to a differential equation? So remember, from our definition of a differential equation, it is an equation that involves an unknown function and one or more of its derivatives within the same equation. So a solution to a differential equation, simply stated, is a function that will satisfy this differential equation if we substitute it in. So using the example I introduced earlier in this video, the solution to this differential equation is y equals a exponent kt, where a of course is a constant, and this is what we call the general solution to a differential equation. We call it a general equation because it represents a set or a family of all the possible solutions that we can get, of course, by just changing the value of the constant a. And for every value of a that we specify, then we get a particular solution to that differential equation. Of course, we can only do that if we have some initial conditions or boundary conditions depending on the nature of the problem. Now, such a solution is very helpful to scientists because it helps us to predict situations ahead of time. For example, if I plot this solution, as you can see, it's a nice exponential curve, which means scientists can actually predict the number of people that will be infected at a given time t 
and all sorts of other things can be predicted from this graph. The solution to our differential equation or to our model also helps scientists to get a clear understanding of the situation. In this case, for example, scientists can now understand that this disease, if such a disease exists, is spreading exponentially. That means the more people that have it, the faster it will spread through a population. Finding a solution to a differential equation is of course a non-trivial process. Sometimes we can't even find an exact solution to a differential equation, but thankfully we can approximate it using numerical methods and we can even graph the solution using computer programs like MATLAB and Wolfram. That's it for this video. I hope this video helps you to get a better understanding of the general concept of a differential equation. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up because that helps the YouTube algorithm to show this video to more people like you who might find it helpful. Leave a comment about what other uh, videos I should make explaining different concepts. I'll see you in my other videos. Bye.